Welcome to the Funeral Funds Life Insurance Podcast. I'm your host, Randy Vandervee from Funeral Funds of America, and you can find us at funeralfunds.com. That's funeral, F-U-N-D-S dot com. Whether you're interested in term life, whole life, mortgage protection, annuities, disability, business continuation, or final expense life insurance, we have you covered. Our team of experienced professionals will guide you through the complexities of insurance products to help you make an informed decision. In this podcast, I'm going to be discussing factors that affect life insurance premiums. Let's dive right in. Our first topic today, and by far the most obvious, I think most people would certainly understand this one that's going to affect your life insurance premium is your age and your health. So younger and healthier individuals are generally going to pay lower premiums because they're considered less risky to insure. Because what happens is people get older. You know, unfortunately, we we think about living all the time. Sometimes we're so busy thinking about living that we don't think about dying. You know, but every day we live, that puts us closer to, to, to death. I'm not trying to be a negative Nelly, but you know, statistically, you know, a 30 year old or a 40 year old or a 50 year old has a lot longer to live than a 70 or an 80 year old. And we know that life has all sorts of cruel surprises out there. But as a rule, the older you are, the closer you are to dying. Therefore, the higher your insurance premium would be. One other thing happens as we get older too, is we typically start like racking up some medical problems, right? And some of them we have no control over. You know, a lot of us are just genetically predispositioned to things that our parents or grandparents had. And then some of us are, we just, we just don't treat our bodies like the temple that, you know, I guess we probably should in hindsight. You know, we have really kind of unhealthy habits, sometimes smoking, most obvious one, drinking a lot, you know, over drinking, I should say. And, uh, you know, obesity, you know, height and weight, you know, it's a big issue in the United States. Uh, Diabetes, just uh, COPD, congestive heart failure, just all sorts of things can happen as we just make our, our way through this journey called life. And the healthier you are, the better your insurance premiums get. Now, I don't want you to lose all hope if you have some health issues, because that's why a company like Funeral Funds of America is so important. We work with a whole bunch of different insurance companies, and that way we can offer insurance options to just about anybody. Now, you know, the pricing is going to be different on those options. I, I do want to make sure that's clear. But the, the the second topic I really want to talk about is kind of coverage amount and policy type because your your age and your health is going to determine the coverage amount and policy type. So, you know, higher coverage amounts, uh, you know, if you want something in the like millions of dollars worth of insurance or hundreds of thousands, we would typically be looking at a term life insurance policy. So, you know, some people might just want a $50,000 term. And, uh, you know, we help some people that are needing you know, five to 10 to 15 to $20 million type term insurance policies. And those, depending on the individual, that can be for an a, a person or we're helping a lot of businesses or business ventures out there that, you know, especially when they're just starting up and there's two or three people in the, in the company, if one of them passes away, there's some biz, business continuation policies that uh, we work with people on just to make sure that just because somebody died, one of the owners died, that the business doesn't die with them. So just keep in mind, there's a bunch of different options. Different policy types are out there. There's term life. There's a whole life. Term life is temporary coverage. That can be for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Whole life coverage is whole life. Uh, Covers all the way up until age 121 with most companies. Nobody's outlived one yet. And then there's other policies out there where you can adjust the premium kind of up and down, depending. That'd be a universal life. So they each are very specialized insurance products, and they each need to be recommended and utilized responsibly. So another factor is gender. You know, the gals out there typically outlive us guys. You know, I would have to say that 
you know, as a role, those girls don't do as many dumb things as us guys. I know that's an overgeneralization, generalization, but I'm kind of looking at the person in the mirror as I, as I specify that. But yeah, you know, on average, women are going to live probably, you know, anywhere from four to eight years longer than male. So um, women, as a result, have lower premiums. Now, some other factors are occupation and lifestyle. So there's certain, there's certain high risk activities and occupations out there. So consider, you know, the difference between a commercial aviation pilot flying 747s and a pilot flying a Cessna 172, right? Pretty, pretty big difference in insurability there. So uh, same thing with hazardous jobs like, like loggers, you know, they're, they're every day they're cutting down trees and dragging lumber and stuff. Very dangerous. You know, I once helped a, a gentleman, he worked in a, a metal, metal smelting operation. And he's the guy that put on the silver reflective suit and they, they dumped this hot molten level or metal into molds and stuff. And, you know, holy cow, that guy would have been a crispy critter if there was some sort of accident. So there's some occupations out there that are definitely uh, higher risk and they can, in some cases, result in a higher premium just because there's an increased likelihood of accidents or in injuries. And uh, again, we work with companies out there that specialize in all those different things. There's also risky hobbies or activities like maybe you skydive, you know, do, do, do those shoots open all the time? Sometimes they don't or, or rock climbing, something like that. So the insurance companies are going to want to know some specific things about you and uh, that will help them determine your eligibility. Now, if you're an older person in a senior, obviously you're not doing rock climbing, probably as a rule, but uh, we work with uh, companies for the senior market that really don't ask many of those, those questions like skydiving or rock climbing, because they just know that those people don't do that. And even if you did skydive and rock climb or fly an airplane, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care because they don't ask the question. So it's really policy specific. Another thing the insurance companies will ask sometimes, depending on the policy, is if you have a family history of certain hereditary diseases or medical conditions, you know, specifically some insurance companies may take a look at that and that may factor into their decision. And that doesn't mean it's all doom and gloom if you have any of those things going on. It just means that we need to find an insurance company that doesn't ask those questions or doesn't care about those things that have gone on in the past in your family tree. Another factor in eligibility that's going to affect your life insurance premiums is the state that you live in. Some states are just more expensive and have higher regulatory requirements than other states. You know, California, yeah, for sure. New York is a biggie. Holy cow, they can be a real bear up there in New York. So, you know, most people aren't going to run into that. Most people in, you know, probably 48 of the states are going to have really terrific options. And, you know, we're licensed in all 50 states. So we, we, we kind of see the gamut between the different states out there and kind of the rates and premiums and stuff with the different companies. So just understand that's going to be difficult for, you know, the average consumer to figure out. So that's, that's where we jump in as a broker and we do the shopping around for you, save you that time and get you the best policy. And the last thing I want to cover today is kind of some of the preventable stuff that, you know, tends to be a little bit more addictive, right? So, you know, like tobacco use and alcohol use. So if you, most of the insurance companies are going to say, have you used tobacco, nicotine, vaping, any kind of nicotine products in the last 12 months? Now, there's going to be some companies out there that are going to be a little bit more picky and some that are going to be a little more lenient. Uh, another one is alcohol consumption. Depending on the policy, some, some companies aren't even going to ask that as long as you haven't gone in and been treated for it or you haven't been diagnosed with alcoholism or something like that. But certainly, you know, tobacco use and uh, excessive alcohol consumption are considered high, higher risk behaviors by the insurance company. And as a rule, you're going to pay more 
for insurance if you are engaging in those two activities. So it's just important to note that, you know, all of the factors I talked about today can vary between the different insurance companies. Each insurance company has their own underwriting guidelines, which is their own medical determination process. And if you're looking for that life insurance, that perfect life insurance policy, whether it's for yourself or a loved one or a business or to protect a mortgage or take care of your final expense needs, just reach out to us and we can help you find out what policy is going to be best for your specific situation. So that's the factors the that affect life insurance premiums. My name is Randy Vanderbate, and I hope this podcast has been helpful to you. Funeral Funds of America can help you qualify for first aid coverage or benefits at funeralfunds.com. That's funeral, F-U-N-D-S dot com. And our phone number is 888-862-9456. We will be blessed to help you with this in the future. Until that day comes, stay safe, take care, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.